Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Martin. We're the Krat Brothers. When you're heading out on a creature adventure, you have to make sure to pack all your gear. Like headlamps, water bottles, granola bar, everything you might need when you're in the bush. Because if you forget something while you're out there, you could be in trouble. Uh, Chris? Oh, 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 a giraffe. Amazing. That's the longest neck in the world right there, sticking its head right in the window. This is one way to start a giraffe adventure. Wow, this giraffe's neck is longer than my whole body. We got to get out there and check it out. Come on. All right, we'll be right outside. Don't go anywhere. Oh, wow. There, look at them all. Giraffes of all different ages. We're like puny compared to these guys. Even the newborn babies are taller than we are. That one was born just a week ago. And that baby giraffe is only two months old. And look how huge he is. A baby human two months old would be only about this big and wouldn't even be able to walk. These giraffes can walk 15 minutes after they're born. A young giraffe will stay with his mom for about a year and then head off on his own. It'll take him four more years to grow as tall as his mom. Five meters tall. The tallest creature in the world. So the giraffe's super long neck is one of a kind in the creature world. Great for reaching high leaves. For serious swing and neck battles. For seeing across the savanna. For camouflaging like a tree trunk. And over there within the trees, giraffes. Chris, oh, going up. Chest height, neck height, and head height. This is the only way we can get to be as tall as a giraffe. Oh, giraffe eating height. This is awesome. And this is why giraffes have such long necks, to get up to those tasty leaves that other creatures can't reach. That cool look of the African savanna with those flat-bottomed acacia trees, that's because of the giraffes. That's as high as they can reach. And they can get leaves that no other animal can get to because of that long neck. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> wow. Now they all want the leaves. Here, you want that? There you go. Oh, there's that tongue. Wow, now that's a good close-up look at a giraffe's tongue. 46 centimeters long, super slimy, and purple. That purplish-black tongue actually helps the giraffes not get sunburn on their tongues. Yeah, it's true. Every time it comes out, it gets blasted by the sun. So it's got that natural suntan lotion, that blue pigment. You know, this is a whole other point of view on giraffes. Usually, you're looking up at them, but when you get up in the trees, you're in the giraffe's world. And this gives a good view of those ossicles. Those bony horns on the top of their head. That's what they use for those neck battles, to smash each other in the neck. You know, they have big eyes with long eyelashes. Look at the cool pattern on the Rothschild giraffe. Now, you can tell different species of giraffe apart from their patterns. Giraffes are one gentle creature with some really cool creature powers. OK, see you later. Giraffes are awesome. Here's to the tallest creature in the world. Keep on creature adventure. We'll see you on the creature trail. There are no lions around here.